Guys, we're here with Chattanooga head coach Rusty Wright. Coach, the first question is, you guys, Cole Strange, first round draft pick. Just a lot of people, it surprised a lot of people. I got to see him at the Senior Bowl, not surprised at all for me. Can you just talk about his development and what he could bring as a player to the NFL level? Well, you got a guy that can play three spots at the NFL level. He can play right guard, left guard, or center. So instead of paying, you know, that three different people $10 million, you got one guy wrapped up in about 16. So that that's the biggest difference, and that's why he became so valuable so early. There's no question about that. And uh, he can get you out of game and tackle if something were to happen. So that's – big bodies are a commodity, no doubt. And, and – and when you, especially when you're at that level, they only carry about eight offensive linemen in a game, and you got one guy who can play three spots, or you start stealing, you know. And that's that's the thing. That's why he went so so fast and so quick. And throughout spring practice, summer workouts, you've seen this team really grow and mature. What makes this year's Chattanooga team different from years in the past? Uh, well, I've only been the head coach there the last three years, yeah. so um, I can just tell you, you know, this group, the the way they've gone about doing things day to day, whether it's in the classroom, it's in study hall, it's in the weight room, it's out of spring practice, it's out there in summer workouts. I'm really excited to go watch them because of how they've handled their business and tried to go be, they, they have a purpose and a plan in mind. They have that. I understand I have to give it to them and do that, but they have a purpose and a plan in mind, and that's what's so exciting about this group. You guys had two players on the Senior Bowl watch list, a bunch of different watch lists, the Clinton Curtis on offense line, the Boston Maxwell the defensive line. Talk about those two players and how they've emerged as true leaders for the Chattanooga team. Well, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. I mean, they, you know, usually your better football teams, your best players practice hard, they do everything right and all that, and that's what those guys do. There's no doubt about it. They don't shy away from hard work. They don't shy away from having responsibility and uh, that's what makes them who they are. And on top of it, they're even better people. I mean, I promise you, they're, and I know a lot of people say that about folks, but those two are the best, the two of the best people in Chattanooga, just as people, not even as student athletes or anything like that. And that's why you want good things to happen. This team's primed to really compete for the conference title, a playoff spot in this upcoming playoffs. What's been the message from the coaching staff to the team on what, what the keys are to achieve their goals? Well, we just talked about all the time handling our business and doing what we control every day as well as we can do it as hard as we can. We talk about it all the time. You know, when we go, we go. That's the thing. When it's time for us to go, we go. If it's time for us to go play, we go play. If it's time for us to go to study hall, we go to study hall. You know, and that's that's the thing. And I think this group's really bought into that and tried to do well in everything they're doing that way. And the transfer portal NIL has really changed coaching uh, just even the past three years. So for you and your staff, how do you guys balance not ignoring the transfer portal but also keeping in touch on the high school recruiting trail and developing those players? Well, I think at our level, you have to be a high school-based recruiting deal. I mean, there's no question. Um, it's going to get a little crazier here in the next six to eight months trying to figure that out, too, with all the new transfer rules that are happening again. Uh, but that's the thing is you got to be a high school base. We're, we're a developmental league, okay? We're not getting finished products. We're not doing that. We have to sign kids, develop them, watch them grow, get them to a point where they can help us play. And, you know, it is what it is. You just, we got to live in this world right now, and, and we got to go get it figured out. And it changes constantly. It changes sometimes month to month, sometimes week to week, sometimes day to day. But you get it figured out and you go. And we've talked about some of the leaders on your team. Throughout spring and summer workouts, who are some young guys that have really stood out to you on this team? Uh, Ruben Lowry's one. I think Ruben has an opportunity to have a really good year. Um, Jamoy Mays is one. I think he's, you know, and one's a DB, one's a wide receiver. I think uh, both those guys have an opportunity to have really good years. Reed Williams, an offensive lineman for us. Um, Marlon Taylor's a defensive lineman for us. I think he can have a good year too. Depends on how much he can play with the other guys in front of him. John Prince is a defensive lineman for us. I think you'll see a couple of true freshmen play for us in some spots. So, uh, got a lot of good young guys, you know, to help keep this thing hopefully moving in the right direction and uh, see how they go play. I love offensive line play. We've talked about two guys. Walt McClendon Curtis is probably going to be the next name to hear his name from Chattanooga. Speak about the offensive line development within the program. How were you guys able to develop dominant, strong offensive lines? And talk a little bit about how, how they build that chemistry. Well, that's the biggest thing. I think you got to. I think you got to have a guy that's bought into being an offensive line coach. I mean, you know, those guys are a little different anyway. 
Uh, we've hired Kevin Revis, who's our O-line guy, and Kevin's a former player from there. Um, just all, I mean, he is an O-line guy, you know, and I think you have to, I think that room has had really good chemistry the last year or two, and I think that just kind of bleeds over. I mean, you know, kind of once you get it started like that, it, it kind of tends to go that way. So uh, we've been very fortunate. We've been, we have been, we've been very fortunate to have good players up there and continue to have good players up there. And uh, I think we'll have a couple more in the years that come. And, and uh, just, you know, that's, I think we laid the foundation. We, we, got, we got lucky, we laid a good foundation in both rooms, offensive line and defense line room. And I think that's what, I mean, our kids know that's how we start and that's how we go. And Coach, the final question is, what's your message to all the Chattanooga fans out there about what they can expect from this 2022 team? Come see us. You're going to see a group play hard, fly around. I mean, and this group deserves it. They do. They've worked their tails off this past, uh, from January until now. Um, they're giving us everything they got every day and everything we're doing. And just going to be really excited about having an opportunity to go watch it. Coach, I appreciate you guys. You're not going to want to miss Chattanooga this year on the field. Stay tuned for more content for SoCon Media Day.